no other show does this. No other show is different each season. We have episodes. Some episodes are just standalone. It, it's just constantly changing. We've gone from Scotland in the 1700s to Paris. We've been to the Caribbean. We're now in, you know, the beginnings of, uh, you know, the new world in America. Um, it's it's incredible. And we're dealing with sort of big, momentous time in history, but also an incredible relationship in, in the center of it. Uh, and to grow with these characters as well has been such a such a treat. Whoever you fight with, fight for yourselves. David! Hey guys, I hope you're all really good. Okay, Outlander fans, are you ready? Firstly, I want to say a huge thank you to every single person that sent a message and also lots of love and questions for the one and only Jamie Fraser, Sam Hewan. Welcome to Flip Your Wig. It's so nice to have you here. So how the hell are you feeling? Everybody is so excited. Uh, yes, I'm excited. It's my favorite time. Honestly, you work on something so hard and we did. Uh, and this is no exception. And this whole week is always great fun when we're at the build up and the anticipation. And then I can't wait to be in the room, you know, at the premiere this week in London and to hear hear the reactions of the fans when they see, you know, yes. I know Fraser's rich for the first time. When any actor takes on a series, there is this assumption it's going to take up a big chunk of your life. You're probably not going to be at home that much. You know, when you first took, took on the role of Jamie Fraser, Outlander, series one, I know there are all these books, but did you ever think, oh my God, this is going to go on and on and on for as long as it has. And if you had known that, do you think you would have still signed up for it? Probably not, no. I mean, you know, honestly, no, I, I mean, we signed up for, uh, a large amount of time but you know i remember saying to my driver on the first day driving in and he asked me how long do you think it's the last i was like oh no more than maybe a year maybe two max you know eight years now and um it's it's been such a ride and it's so weird because it goes so fast um you just don't don't know the time goes but it, it, it's great fun we're a big family and Whenever we go back to work, it always feels like just going back home. And your lovely co-star, I've absolutely fallen in love with her. I've chatted to her a few times recently and she's just so amazing, sweet, lovely, and just badass. And this is the first time talking to me. I know, but she's been moonlighting with That's James That's true, Gordon. she is moonlighting. Yeah. yeah. It's a good you point. Know. No one ever talks about that, do that. Like, yeah. I mean, it's I all like very well, her doing really well in the award seasons, but actually, She's working for someone else now. She's got a new on-screen hubby, <laughs> Jamie Dorn. I know, oh. that's what I'm worried about. All these people saying they've got great chemistry, I don't see it. Um, she's just out here killing the game, you know, nominate for BAFTAs, winning awards. Are you proud? Um, I, I totally agree. I, I'm just so happy for her. She deserves it. She's uh, so hardworking. She is, she is as you see. Uh, as I said, she's just such a lovely person. And Jamie, actually, I know Jamie. I met him as well, and he's great. So I'm really pleased for them. And, I hopefully it does really well at the award shows. Um, they've got a lot of recognition that they deserve. So yes, I shall be watching and celebrating with them. You helped pull me back from the darkness. You are always with me. Clouds give way. Bring blood to the door, silence the drum. Monique says, what would you be like as a hubby if she were to marry you? Domestic, romantic? You know, Jamie, the character you play, obviously, is a good little hubby. So how would you be, uh, Sam? Oh, no. no. I'm sorry. No, I wouldn't. I'd be, I'd be totally rubbish. Um, <laughs> well, I'd be working all the time and I'd be in, because I'm in Scotland and Jamie's in yeah. the 1700s and I don't have a horse and uh, the jacket's really heavy and, <laughs> um, and I don't have a wig. But would you be romantic and can you cook like breakfast? Are you good in the kitchen? Amy doesn't really cook, does he? No, but she's talking about you in real life. Oh, am I a good cook? Um, yeah. Mm, I like to cook, but I'm not sure I'm that good. But I'm, I'm, I make a decent scramble. Scramble. What's her name? Monique. Her name's Monique. Mm. Monique, I don't know. We haven't met. Like, it, we might be meant to be together. And then, of course. Okay, let's carry on. Um, Squeezing some questions. Dawn Campbell says, Outlander's intimate scenes are so good, but I'm realizing Katrina and Sam can't enjoy them like the audience. Mm. Which characters in a film or show or even in a book do you feel weak in the knees to watch or read about? Oh, that's a good one. I think it is as well. Wow. Mm. Hmm. Um, yeah, I love Gillian Anderson. Gillian Anderson, X-Files. Oh my God. And then I worked with her. <gasps> so hot. And in Sex Education, really. She's gorgeous, love her. Gillian Anderson rocks. Um, okay, 
Lonnie Ferguson says, what episode this season is your favourite scene with Katrina as Claire or just you or Sam? Claire, just my... I can't give away stuff, but um, um, there's, there's a... Well, there's a... I can't give it away. Um, but I'll say that the finale is really good. It's so hard because you don't want to give away spoilers. Okay, um, let's go to Angie. This is a great question. Angie says... Let me know if Sam feels as the seasons have progressed, if he's been treated as less eye candy and more actor. Because obviously, you know, you're a sexy guy, you have the shirt off and all that kind of stuff, but then you do some really dramatic scenes. So sometimes, you know, people can judge. So does it feel like over the series, um, each season, people's perception of you is changing? I don't know, but I, I mean, I'd say the show is surprising. I think people maybe have, I thought it's at times it's been described, you know, in those terrible terms of a bodice ripper or something. But I think as people just don't know the show, I think if people, as soon as they come to the show and they start to watch it, they realize there's so much more that goes on. And I think across the board, the whole cast is are so strong as actors. You don't get that normally in in, in a show, and um, it's rare to have such, such a group of people together. I can't be two things at once, Claire: a rebel, a loyalist. Agent for the crown and an enemy of the king. You can't live your life afraid of being who you are. Okay, got to squeeze this one in as well. This is for uh, Kirsty. Kirsty says, text for you, Priyanka Chopra. I'm so excited. What can I expect? Me too, actually. I'm a huge fan of rom coms. You filmed this in London during lockdown, and I remember seeing the videos, and um, there were pictures of you dancing together on the streets. So, what was that like? It's so nice. I love it. It's so much fun. I love Priyanka. She's the best um she's wonderful we had a laugh and i hope you will see it soon and of course got celine dion in it so come on what's not to like who's the better dancer though because there's this little clip that went viral two of you kind of dancing on the streets um so who is the better dancer you or priyanka um look priyanka's just brilliant in everything uh, <laughs> she's just great at everything she's a better singer she's a better dancer better yeah. actor she cooks better. She's got great taste. What is it with my co-stars all being brilliant? I think you're pretty badass too. Like your co-stars, Katrina and Priyanka. You're not bad yourself, Sam. Sam, thank you so much. Great to chat to you. Send some love to the Outlander fans. They adore you. I will. Thank you, fans. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. You're, I mean, you're going to enjoy it. So just remember to flip your wig. <laughs> <laughs>